Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. What we've got going on today is really, really dynamic and interesting. Um, a Douglas fir, 140 foot, maybe three feet in the base, tipped over at the roots fell, landed in the cedar that's directly behind me, split it in two, sent the one half of the cedar into another cedar, tipped it over. When that one fell over, it loaded into a maple and another double-topped tree. So this is a cascading failure, a domino effect of one tree coming down, creating a big bunch of problems. So we've got loaded trees, we've got fractured root plates, we've got split stems, we're on a 45 degree slope. Uh, yeah, really dynamic. So what we'll do is we'll walk through and I'll show you a bunch of other shots of what's going on. Here's our cedar, the one that got hit in the cascade of falling trees. It's tipped over on the root ball. So that we've got the root ball pulling the stem back like this, wanting to keep the tree vertical. So we've got this pressure. We've got the pressure of the tree coming down. We've got the pressure of it loaded up above into those trees and the pressure of our blue line going that way. So it's a lot, it's a lot of pressure uh, in all those different ways. And we're on the slope and we're underneath what we're cutting. Through my huffing voice here, I've gotten in here and I've done two felling cuts because it's hard to predict where the compression is and where the tension because the stump is lifting and the stem is riding down. It could compress on the back or it could compress on the front. So we've got both in there. I'm about to release it and we'll see what happens. He suffers from a lot of compression and tension. Oh, nice one. So here's our split cedar. This is somewhere around five feet in diameter. It is split clean through to the other side, top to bottom, from the lamination point. So remember our fur came over, hit this, it swiped in the middle and it peeled the one off that we just dealt with. And then this one that we're set to uh, fell. Um, you can see that split traveling all the way down. So now the trick is, what do we do? You know, as far as a hinge, having good space to work on it. Nice shot. Nice shot. Perfect. Everything came down as planned, just really intense. Big wood, the big cedar with the double split in it, that was 140 feet in height and 51 inches in diameter. Uh, the other half Same. or the other stem, that one was 135 feet, uh, 40 inches. So this is big wood on the slope. Um, yeah, anyway, good job. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Christoph. Thanks <laughs> for watching. Thanks for... Uh, yeah, checking us out. Have fun.